Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. But what I do know is that this is 4F Beauty and you are more than welcome here. And I'm currently trying to do a juggling act where I don't actually drop everything to show you my latest haul. I know. So, so, if you want to know exactly what this haul entails, as I've said for some considerable time now, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and get comfy. There it comes. Right. I just managed to drop one or two on the floor. Thankfully they were just empty magnetic pallets. I've picked up a few of those because of I've quite got into uh, creating my own pallets from using my um, individual shadows. Uh, this is another one. It says glitter goals on the outside but it's actually just a empty magnetic palette. I've got quite into sort of duping palettes and all that sort of thing so picked up a few empty palettes to make my life a little easier. Finally picked up Life's a Drag because I liked his um, his manis as in Luna Beauty. I liked his um, Book of Spells so I picked this one up, which is obviously his first one. The only thing that concerns me, which wasn't obvious when I bought it, because I bought it second hand, um, the two shimmers appear to have black around them. Now the black doesn't look like it's been damaged at any point. So I'm unsure whether that's mould or whether that's pigment from perhaps a different palette that someone was using with this at the time. So I'm kind of on the fence about using that. Um, I will most likely I will just spray that with some disinfectant and uh, just, you know, see what happens, see whether it gets any mouldier or if it is just, so I shall leave this somewhere safe so I can keep an eye on it basically. Right. Let me pause you a minute. Okay, right. Um, I picked up, I'd been interested in trying a Sigma palette for quite a while. So I picked up this brilliant and spellbinding one, again from Depop, which looks like that. I know, it's a bit neutral for me, but. It's got the pink, it's got the orange, so I figured I might be able to do a few looks with that, see whether I like it or not, and if I do like the um, the quality of it, well then I can look at getting some of their more colourful palettes. I picked up the Ayuba palette from Miali Beauty. Uh, which looks like that. Super, super pretty. This is one of the ones that is limited edition, I believe. This one and I think Yaya are the limited edition. Yasmin that I've already got is permanent because that one's named after the owner's mum. 
so that's a permanent one but I have Ayubia to try it then I don't know if you remember a little while ago one of my lovely 4F babies very kindly sent me the um, Dominique Cosmetics have I got it to hand probably haven't because I retidied everything no it's in a different drawer now um, kindly sent me the little mini Dominique Cosmetics uh, palette from her boxy charm that she wasn't really that interested in and she messaged me saying had I seen the boxy charm hello charmer palette and would I like it and I had seen it and I said if you don't want it that would be lovely thank you this is what it looks like nice and colourful so she very very kindly sent me this but she had a surprise for me which I quite literally burst into tears when I opened the packet because as well as the boxy charm palette she included four single Terra Moon shadows because she knew I couldn't get them over here two more so I'm starting to pack them back into the box that they're in of things that I need to still use and the box was starting to tilt two more sets of the impress stick on nails because she'd sent me the orange ones before um, the reason I haven't put them on yet is because I've got, actually got a split in my thumbnail so I'm just waiting for that to grow out before I put any more on but just look how beautiful those are so she included those for me as well and and this is the thing that really made me cry I have wanted this palette from the minute it was released there isn't a UK or European stockist so far that I've found for this particular company and by the time I'd put on postage fees and then import charges at my end it would have made the palettes way too expensive but this is the palette that I'd been praying was going to come up on Depop somewhere but I can stop praying because the beautiful Shari sent me Nomad Tokyo seriously I'm I have not got waterproof mascara on I cannot cry look at how beautiful this palette is I have wanted this ever since I first saw it with a little kitty cat imprints on it and beautiful pastels I know pastel is more spring and summer but when have I ever you know restricted myself so I can't wait to have a play with that one and I just honestly I I I was crying like a baby when I saw that just I, I there are not significant words in my vocabulary or the English language that can truly convey how much that means Right, continuing on, before I completely ruin this look, uh, I picked up So Dope. This is one of the Makeup Obsession palettes. I'd been thinking about getting it for quite a while, but I'm like, oh, I've got a lot of those colours already, but I really like the combination of colours. 
and then someone was selling it on Depop really cheap so I'm like right I'll pick it up no it wasn't Depop it was Facebook it's on Facebook so I picked it up from there and it's I mean she's literally only used about one shade out of this and that you can see that's just a brush swatch so I know that um, oh Chelsea my YouTube daughter is interested in this palette so I need to do a look with this soon and let her know whether it's worth buying I also picked up this from Depop again it's very neutral for me but I saw it a lot of Americans got this in their boxy charm I think it was and this is from Butter London it's the Teddy Boy palette it's very very simple neutral palette but I love the gatefold opening um, which is magnetic looking good darling and it's all got very very British names Freddie, Simon, Nick, Francis, Billy, Nigel, Archie, Graham and Rupert um, so yeah I just I liked that because it was cool timed um, and I do get requests for more neutral looks so I thought I'd grab that and try um, I picked up this from um, Beauty Bay when they had like a 40% off on the palettes I'd been looking at this for quite a while this is the Bretman Rock Wet n Wild Jungle Rock palette which looks like like that which I'd want again I'd liked the look of it when it first came out but I didn't like the original price of it so when it was 40% off on Beauty Bay I'm like right grab that to try I've got a collab with that um, with Anna which I think will already be live by the time you see this uh, this is the palette that I've used for today's look this is the BH blueberry muffin palette and she looks a little bit like this I'm trying to show you the colors without getting the holographic black background distracting you but it's got you know sort of periwinkles and blues and greys and some neutrals and it's just a really really pretty palette again I have filmed this look I don't know if the look is up yet or not but this look was that palette I picked up another BH palette which is the Drop Dead Gorgeous Full On Crazy this is one of their Halloween palettes for 2020 and looks like that they've also got uh, like a half size one a little bit crazy which has got some duplicate shows from this which is why I didn't bother to pick that one up right what else did I pick up I finally I saw I'd, I'd seen these these Pat McGrath what does she call them eye ecstasy palettes where they've literally just got five mini shades of her like special shimmer shades one was sort of neutrals like bronzes and golds and then there was this colour one and they were about 25 quid and I'm like oh, it's still expensive but you know Pat McGrath that's not, that's not too bad and then I saw someone was selling this on Depop for 15 quid so I'm like do you know what I want to know what the fuss is about about her top of shade because mattes are mattes are mattes basically you know I've got really good matte shadows so I picked this up to find out what the fuss is about uh, I also picked up and this is Angelica Lirma's fault she was going through some of her palettes that she'd got and this is Pixie by Petra, the glittery eye quad 
in blue pearl and she said now I don't normally like pressed glitters but she in assured everybody in this film that these don't actually need glitter glues to go on with and that they go on really well so I was intrigued so I picked that up to see what the fuss is about with that uh, picked up some lippies quite a few lippies actually uh, I've picked up the deep purple Fenty which is undefeated and the Luna Beauty Wicked which is the black one I actually used that in a look that I did where I did a collab with Debbie from Vinyl Beauty I collabed with her and I used the black lipstick in that one I picked up uh, Essence Lash Princess with a green top this is my favourite this was out of stock last time I went to go and buy some which is why I've got the orange top which I've used for my lashes today but this green one is my favourite of the uh, Lash Princess looks slightly battered this box never mind this is the I've been meaning to, to pick one of these up for so long this is MAC obviously I'm sure loads of you recognise it Ruby Woo oh, I love the smell of MAC lipsticks and I've been meaning to pick up a Ruby Woo for ages I know it's probably their most popular of their reds so I also picked up a couple of their what they call powder kiss lipsticks um, I got one in a scandal which is this kind of soft corally pink and I got mullet over which is this sort of pinky nude so I've got those to try my split liners arrived from my pre-order from Glisten Cosmetics Peach Melba and Grape Vine where you get one half is neon and one half is pastel these are the smaller pots that they do I love the fact that they do smaller pots like this as well and with the split colours you obviously you, you get more bang for your buck because you're getting more colours um, and it takes up less storage space and then I got the two newest Kaleidos palettes this is Sashimi City which looks like that I know it's a bit neutral but I really like the Kaleidos palettes and I've got there's only one of their palettes I haven't got and that's the Deep Sea palette because uh, I couldn't get hold of that that just sold out before really I was aware of the brand to be quite honest this is the, the palette I was wanting though this is the Luna Lavender because those of you who know me know that I love my purples so that is absolutely me all over really is and this one here is like a I don't know if it will show up in the mirror it's actually a duochrome, kind of a bluey lilac. I don't know if that's shift is showing. But yeah, so I've got all of their skinny palettes and I've got the escape pod. I'm on the lookout for the deep sea palette uh, to complete my 
collection because it appears that I'm going to be collecting those apparently. Let's just pop some of these back into this box just to just to keep them tidy. So yeah, that's my current haul of new palettes that I need to use, or new to my collection anyway, not necessarily new, new. Oh, and I've got this lipstick. This is the I Heart Revolution, or the I Heart Chocolate um, things, and this is in shade Honeycomb. And I love the way they've continued the sort of chocolate chocolate packaging. I do apologise for you going ski whiffed. It's because I was putting the box back and it knocked. And is continuing to knock the tripod. Um, this is just a really nice, cool toned nude. It's, it's about as light as I can go on my skin tone. Uh, it's a good corpse lip colour, if I was going to do a corpse look. Um, I've also got, even though blush tribe don't exist anymore, when I ordered um, the Yasmin palette, they actually included one of their lip glosses for me from blush tribe that they obviously got left over, which is a really beautiful colour. So I've got that as well, although that's in Samaya. I mean, showing you that is a little bit cruel because you can't get it, but it is new to my collection. Um, I think that's it in terms of new stuff. So, yeah, let me know in the comments box below which of those palettes you want me to use first. Um, I've used the Bretman Rock one and I've used the um, Blueberry Muffin. The rest of them I haven't touched yet. Well I've, I may have swatched but I haven't applied them to my eyes. So let me know which of those, excluding the life's a drag because I'm going to keep an eye on that and see if that black continues to grow because if it continues to grow then it's mould and if it doesn't then it's most likely just black shadow from something else so yeah um, so yeah barring those three palettes let me know which of the others you want to see me use first um, I hope you found that fun a little bit informative just to see what I'd bought while I was stuck at home with an abscess and unable to film. I looked like a hamster. If I put a picture up here, I was a proper hamster. It was just so there was yeah, there was no way I could film. I just I looked and I felt bloody awful, I really did. So but yeah, there we go. If you're a 4F baby, please double check you're still subscribed. YouTube are still unsubscribing you. So rude, so rude. Um, and double check that your notifications still say all, because all of mine on every channel that I'd got them set to had gone back to personalised. Not that YouTube seemed to be sending emails at the moment anyway. I don't know what's up, I really don't. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this film. Um, I don't often do hauls because normally I don't have a huge amount built up like this unless it's a little birthday or Christmas. Um, I normally get like one or two things a week and it's, I use them before there's time to do a haul. Um, but yeah, you know, let, let me know which of those palettes you'd like to see me use first. Uh, which one piques your interest? Do you have any of them? What are your opinions on them? Uh, if you've got Life's a Drag, have your shimmer shades started to get that black stuff around them? Or 
Mm, I'm still not sure about that one to be honest. And obviously only seeing with one eye, there's no way I'm going to put anything near my eye if I've got any doubt about it. So I'd rather just waste the money that I spent and give it to my mate Maz so that she can use the pigments for her artwork than, um, than risk damaging my eyesight. Uh, it would be lovely if you would like to join the 4F family, it's super easy to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to grey, then you ring my bell, ring my bell, and choose all notifications in the hope that YouTube will start sending emails soon. Uh, in the meantime, if you're looking for some me time, see what I did there, mm -hmm. I've got a lot of other films you can watch that aren't all videos. There's product reviews, uh, makeup tutorials, collabs, challenges, tags. I even read you my favourite poem. So there's going to be something you can find. And as I've said, for what seems like time immemorial, grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up and indulge. And just have some time listening to my dulcet tones whilst I apply coloured pigments to my face, in most cases. <laughs> right, my lovelies, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.